All right, the first thing I want to ask is, is Derek Knopp who invented the fly badge here? Derek Knopp, make some noise if you're here. Excellent, all right, so I'm gonna be a badge advocate. This is someone who is not at the conference who used the emulator to send in badge information, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to demonstrate your badge with this one. Are you gonna demonstrate it? Chris is gonna demonstrate. So if you look at this, this is a, this is a flappy bird hack, and there's obviously a timing problem here. The badge is running way too fast, uh, but that, that makes sense. Uh, so Chris, Chris already sucks at flappy bird. Chris already sucks at flappy bird, so he sucks even more on the badge, but uh, you gotta admit this is a pretty cool one. Uh, not only does it crash you into the barriers when you don't make it through the hole, but then it flashes to really mess up with your retinas. So, Dob here with the, with the fly badge, let's give a hand for that one. Mike Harrison, Mike Harrison, keynote speaker. Now Mike, I know Mike started on his badge before the conference even started. But uh, no, no, you demonstrate it. Just have a seat, have a seat. Let him have a seat. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna sit like this and I'll help you. I'll help guide you. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, right, just before anyone accuses me of cheating, I will admit that some of this code was written about three weeks ago at home, not here. But I, did, I was up to one o'clock this morning actually getting it to work on the physical hardware, so maybe that counts. Um, yeah, basically what I've done is implement an alternate driver that gives you full 8-bit grayscale with gamma correction, so you get a nice sort of smooth grayscale image. Um, the actual effects are possibly a bit on the lame side. We've got like a bouncy ball that gets bigger and smaller. We've got some uh, sort of 40 droppy things. Um, what else? We've got this. This is a bit slow, but it's got like a very slow grid that changes width and height and stuff. And there's a sort of vaguely life virusy type thing where it, um, you know, the, the growth depends on how many adjacent things are lit and it sort of is all very random and it does occasionally something sort of vaguely interesting. Um, the code for the grayscale driver is on Resonate, a known band on Resonate, Hackaday Run to Wrong Festival, <laughs> Hackaday.io. About 10 minutes ago, I did a fix that, because we've got these two different versions of the display, uh, I added a compile time switch to tell it which, which type of display it is, and that now works. Um, that will be on Hackaday.io when I get back to the hotel, but if anyone really wants it, I've got it on me. So, yeah, that's it. But gray, grayscale is the, uh, is the thing. It's really uh, it's the low-level grayscale thing, which is, yeah, that's it. Uh, hey, I'm Milos. So this is the thing I worked with my friend. He's sadly not here. I mean, he's well, but he's, he went home. <laughs> so we built this. It sucks after the previous demo, but this is what it did. This is what we did. We are launching a ball. And it's like slowly decelerating toward the top, towards the top, and now it's accelerating towards the bottom, and now it's going to push, push and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Physics. Yeah, Physics. Thank you. All right. Hi again. I'm Radovan from West. What I've tried to build is a, a dummy uh, Pac-Man app, but it's dummy because uh, um, it's really not easy for me to play it from here. Uh, it's dumb because uh, the hunter is pretty dumb, so it's actually me hunting him instead of the opposite. <laughs> uh, I, I would need more time in order to build a better logic, but that would mean uh, less, uh, less fun with the crowd over here, which is awesome. Less beer, less everything, so, <laughs> so I guess I'm happy with what, what, what it looks like right now. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, tell us who you are, tell us what Hi, hi, my name's Luca. I'm your name. And we're two beer consumers from Slovenia. Um, since uh, we're, uh, words like pointers and interrupts scared the shit out of us, we've decided to um, um, do something different. Um, can, I, can I pull this a bit lower? Um, yes, thank you. 
So yeah, we've removed the LCD, uh, the, sorry, the, the L LED um, screens. Um, we, we've added a pull-down resistor to one of the outputs that drive the transistors that usually drive the LED screen. Um, and we plugged a pair of head headphones to it. Uh, we've added a capacitor in between to like filter the DC out. Um, and we tried to make, uh, to produce some noise out of it. So let's see if the microphone picks it up. Ready? Wait, I have, I'll try to up the, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's our first time doing something with sound, um, but we won't we won't lie. We just um, after after trying around for like a few hours, uh, we just just googled one line eight bit uh, cheap tune code. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do some tw tweaks, um, but that's that's about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so this was a collaboration with Matt Evans. Um, so if you can see that. So this is uh, harking back to 80s video games, they're my favourites. We've got some influences of Space Invaders, we've got Galaxian, and also a much more little known game, which was a knockoff that Konami did called Phoenix. Um, we've also got some Korean characters in there too. Now, if we had a bit more time, they would have dropped to the bottom and then exploded and we would have caught up with Lemmings as an influence as well. But we'll work on that in the next, um, next test round, right? So, uh, first uh, we start a lot with some um, humidity sensors, temperature sensors and uh, stuff like that and then we thought, <laughs> what the hell, it's heck a day, we gotta do something useful. Eh? So, uh, since we have um, uh, IR, uh, uh, LED, ah. LED and uh, blaster, we said, <laughs> why don't we make a multiplayer Pong? Oh. So. <laughs> Has some bugs, but um, it, it it was a fun project, I must say. Um, the the credit goes to Jan. Yeah. Round of applause for Jan. Um, yeah, if uh, if anybody wants to upload this to your uh, uh, your badges, uh, you'll find the code on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hi. Hello. Uh, my name is Matt Evans. I've been enjoying the beer tonight. Came on the wrong side of the stage. I hope you'll forgive me. Yeah, okay. Right All right. Um, so this is a kind of uh, a bit of a sort of retro Amiga demo. This is a, a Metaballs or Blobs demo. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Uh, what this is modeling is a two electrical charges, an electrical field between them, and this band that you see with the, the blobs merging. It's kind of a locus. It's a, it's a, a range of, of field strengths. Uh, so on the plane on the way over, I thought, right, I'm going to do this nice grayscale library. I'm going to make this all blob together, which will look awesome. I, when I landed, saw Mike's awesome library and thought, fuck that, I'm not writing my own. I'm going to use his. <laughs> Couldn't quite get it to compile in time, so we have a purely monochrome version of this, but mm, almost there. So, okay. <laughs> So I'm Nick, and I made the exact opposite of that awesome Pong game. I made the most useless thing in the world, which basically this badge just loops through all the addresses and spams YOLO to all of them. So if anyone's running the default firmware, your badge will soon say YOLO. 
The most interesting thing I've run into is that the badges don't have any sort of indication of when to stop. So if I send the command to badge 18 and say YOLO, uh, badge 18 will also pick up the command for, ba for badge 19 and 20 and so on and so forth and display the brackets and the bolding commands and all that fun stuff. So that's what I made. <laughs> Some brilliant protocol hacking. Nice, nice, well it's done. Yobo, you only badge once. You, you only badge once. Chris, Chris Gamble, trademark. You only badge once. Yobo. Yobo. Dave Darko, Hackaday.io royalty, has <laughs> has agrees to be a badge advocate. So this is another entry from a person who's not here but wanted to write code for the badge anyway. Yeah. So I'm just a surrogate for Jeremiah's who um, made this. Oh dear, I have to reset it. Okay, so this is Game of Life on the badge. And he has made some uh, menu points. You can just play it. And it fills it randomly. And if you're unpatient, you can... No, 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 that's, that's slowing down. I'm, I'm a little bit confused by the plus and minus, but... Let's make it really fast. And we're done. And you can replay it. And he also wrote, let's hope I can, oh. I'm just cheating here, I'm resetting. And he also wrote an editor, so you can set whenever you hit the, no, not the up button, but this one. Uh, let me just paint something. Uh, uh, yeah, and when you get back to the top, no, no, the up button, then it starts the thing you've put in. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Jeremiah says things. Thank you, Dave Darko, for advocating. Next victim, please enter stage right at uh, upstage. Hello guys, uh, I'm Michele, and this is Milan. Uh, I made a uh, two-player local game on the badge. Um, it's a similar to the T-Rex thingy that you can play with on Chrome when you don't have internet, so that you can jump, you know, and jump cactuses. And we also have the napkin of this with the same machine. I, this is for you. Huh? Okay, so this is the basic animation. You can jump, you can duck, and uh, with the two other buttons you can spawn enemies. And he's going to spawn enemies, and I'm going to play. Go. You best. Oh, oh, dead! Okay, no, let's, go, let's give it another try. Oh. I always start with that. Mm. And it counts in binary here. It actually speeds up when you uh, reach every 10 points or so, but we never made it that far. I'm gonna load the easy level now. Yeah, okay, let's, let's get it easy, okay. You, you have to be pixel perfect with the jumps. Dead, uh, yay! So, let's see if we can make it up to 10. Oh, yeah! That's one, oh, that's two. Nice. Uh. No. Hello. Um, this is not my uh, uh, entry. This is the this is the online entry. It's from a username uh, NDB, and uh, he calls it Flames. Hello, uh, my name is Ivan Kozhar. Uh, I made uh, the snake game. Uh, so it starts with two dots. You can control it, of course. Uh, and uh, there, are, uh, there are also integrated all the basic rules like uh, eating itself. Um, or, okay, so I press the up button, okay. Um, or for example, if I crash into the wall. <laughs> Um, that's it. <laughs> I, sp I spent way too many hours playing Snake on a Nokia phone decades ago. 
They were joy. They, they were joyful hours. I was a little drunk last night. I pulled out. I pulled out my Nokia phone and played Snake. Next victim, please. Is there? Is there no one else? Is there no one else? Shall no one challenge? All right. Well, I got to say, the best thing in life is doing something really fun and being proud of your accomplishment, no matter how amazing or how trivial it is. So let's give a big hand for everyone that did anything with this badge. Thank you. All right. First up, we have Flames. Let's hear it. Next up, we have the dinosaur chrome thingy. Please hold it up. Yeah. Uh, the jumpy, the jumpy dinosaur. Next up. Blobs, blobs. Next up, we have blobs. If you can step up as you do it too, that'd be good. Hey, showmanship. I like that. Showmanship. Next up, we have reverse Pac-Man. Reverse Pac-Man. Come on up. Step up, real quick. Multiplayer. Two, two multiplayer pong. Next we have multiplayer pong. <laughs> Next Yolo. up we have Yolo. Yolo. <laughs> Send all your friends Yolo on their badges. Snake. Next up we have Snake. Next up after that, we have Chiptunes. Step on up. Next up, we have Mike with his grayscale wonder there. Space Invaders. Next up, we have Space Invaders. Next up after that, we have Game of Life. And finally, we have... Gravity Bong. Gravity Bong. <laughs> I know, it was actually Gravity Ball, but Gravity Bong is better. Oh, oh, Flappy Bird. We have Flappy Bird. One last one, we have Flappy, Flappy Bird. Bird. <laughs> so, third place. No, no, no. Third place. Third place, Mike. Ah, third place. Third place is Mike with his grayscale wonder. Second place, we have Chip Dudes. And the winner of the Hackaday Belgrade Badge Hacking Contest. Anyone? Want to guess? Let's hear it. Thank you so much to all of the people who participated. You guys did great. Uh, we're gonna, like we said, we're gonna take pictures. We're gonna document all that stuff. We're gonna do, we're gonna do so at the back bar back there. You can go talk to all the people that came and participated. Ask them about their badges. We'd love to hear about them. Thank you to everyone. One more round of applause for all our participants here.